Welcome to the National History Day Utah 2020 Virtual State Contest Youth Division Awards Ceremony. My name is Wendy Rex Atzet. I am the State Coordinator for Utah History Day. And I'm coming to you in front of the lovely historic Rio Grande Depot building. That's the home of the Utah History Day program, and it's actually been closed for repair since the earthquake. I'm also joined on the screen by our mascot, Utah Raptor. Give us a wave. Great. All right. We are so excited to announce um, the results of our state contest. This has been quite a moment in our his shared history. We are all living with a pandemic. Um, those of us who are in northern Utah experienced a pretty dramatic earthquake. Schools have been closed across the state, and all of that has led us to host five virtual NHD contests in Utah this spring. We are so happy that we were able to continue offering this program to kids in spite of these challenges. Now at our state contest, we had 422 students participate, 255 projects, 125 judges, 66 schools from 11 counties. And I want to recognize every single student right now for the work that you did to be part of this contest this year. I know it wasn't easy, and I know that doing history is a lot of work, and I just want everyone to give you the applause that you deserve for sticking with it this year. I also want to thank all of the people that come together to make this program happen. We have our judges who volunteer their time to evaluate your projects. We have your teachers who give incredibly of their time to help you work on these projects. Your parents who probably stepped up a lot more than they thought they would this year with the school closures. And we also have a range of institutional partners and sponsors around the state that make it possible for us to operate this program every year. So thank you, thank you to them. And I wanna congratulate the award winners in our youth division today. There are nine competition categories in the youth division. We can name two state champions and one honorable mention in each of those categories. And students, watch your mail because we will be sending to your mailing address, your home address, your judges' comments, your certificate, your memorabilia from the state contest this year, and any awards that you earn. Without further ado, let's start with group documentary. Our two state champions in this category are Gunnar Gardner, Parker Olson, and Wesley Christensen for their project, Beating the Bug from Diamond Valley Elementary in St. George. Yay! And Blake Wright and Elizabeth Schultzen for their project Women in Dentistry. They're from Three Falls Elementary in Hurricane. In the category Individual Documentary, our honorable mention project is by Tyson Peterson for World War II. He's from Coral Canyon Elementary in St. George. And our state champions are Sadie Kogelsatch, for her project, First Women in Space, she's from Riverton Elementary in Riverton, and Leah Sweeney for the project Black Moses, Breaking Barriers by Fighting for Liberty and Justice for All People, and she's from Castle Heights Elementary in Price. Great job, you guys. In the group exhibit category, our honorable mention project is by Aslan Keats, Ella Dams, and Shasta Hall. Their project is on Queen, Breaking Barriers in Entertainment History. They're from Diamond Valley Elementary in St. George. Our state champions in youth group exhibit are Ike Beard, Max Hutchings, and Beckham Henderson for their project on the Berlin Wall. They're from Three Falls Elementary in Hurricane. And Cole, Arthur, and Curtis Allen for their project Baseball in the Mining Towns of Carbon County. They attend Castle Heights Elementary in Price, and their project also received recognition with a Utah History Prize. In the category Youth Individual Exhibit, our honorable mention project is by Riker Young on Brigham Young, and Riker attends Riverton Elementary School in Riverton. 
Our state champion projects are by Charlotte Riverman for her project, Meriwether Lewis. She's from Taylor Canyon Elementary in Ogden. And Alana McCormick for her project, Flying the Skies, the story of Bessie Coleman. And she attends Leighton Christian Academy. In the category historical paper, our state champions are Jenna Clark, Women Breaking Barriers at NASA. She attends Majestic Fields Elementary in Washington. And Jaden Matthews for his project, The Space Race. Taylor Canyon Elementary in Ogden. In our group performance category, our honorable mention entry goes to Anna Bulkley, Elijah Chandler, Ella Taylor, Josie Larson, Maya Anderson, and Reagan, I need to move my box here, Reagan Harris. Their project is called The Rise and Fall of Hitler, and they go to Diamond Valley Elementary in St. George. And our state champions <clears throat> in group performance, Emma Cook, Mark Hell Kazier, and Sydney Roberts for their project Pioneer Army. They attend Diamond Valley Elementary in St. George. And Ann Wynn and Nathan Fuller for their project The Atomic Bomb. They attend Riverton Elementary School in Riverton. In the category Individual Performance, we have one state champion, and that is Lila Call for her project Maria Tallchief a people's princess in a people's theater. Lila attends home school in Davis County. In the category group website, our honorable mention entry is by Annalise Adong and McKenna Perry, and their project is titled Abraham Lincoln, Breaking Barriers by Abolishing Slavery. They attend Westland Elementary in West Jordan. And our state champions, Ryan Davis and Todd Condi for their project, Leonardo da Vinci, A Visionary of Flight. They attend Riverton Elementary School in Riverton. And Nathan Reeves and Q Franklin for their project, Apollo 11. They attend Riverton Elementary in Riverton. And apologies if I got the name wrong. And in the category Individual Website, our honorable mention entry is by Ava Braby. For her project, Elizabeth Blackwell, first American female doctor, she attends Castle Heights Elementary in Price. And our state champions for individual website are Dexter Stroman for his project, The Right Way, he attends Riverton Elementary, and Audrey Sorensen for her project, Breaking Barriers Through the Internet, she attends Westland Elementary in West Jordan. Looking ahead to 2021, we will be here, and we hope you'll be here with us. Our theme next year is Communication in History, the Key to Understanding. You can find more details on the theme on the Utah History Day website. Please be aware, we will have a new, brand new NHD rulebook that we'll be using next year. There will be improvements to the NHD Web Central web building platform, so look for those. And remember, you can follow Utah History Day on Facebook and on Instagram. That's all for now. Thanks for tuning in, and congratulations to all of our winners. Bye-bye.